Welcome to this demonstration video where I will show how you can export Power Automate flow diagrams to the web. It's part of a small article I wrote on LinkedIn. The link can be found in the video details. If there is any interest in this subject, it will be the first part of a three-part series how to export a diagram manually, this one, how to export a diagram with flow, and how to wrap it in a Power App. What you see in this recording are the actions taken to get an HTML copy of the diagram in the flow, uh, from the flow designer. First, you expand all the actions to get all the details in the web page. Then, the web page is saved. The result is a main page with all scripts and style sheets in a folder. From the main HTML page of the solution flows and from the flows page of non-solution flows, all lines not related to the diagram are removed. Those are the lines after the last slash section tag and all lines before the div with the ID content container. HTML, meta and style tags remain on top. Slash div, slash body and slash ALM closes the tags. After that, the content of the th three style sheets are copied between the style tags. And that's it. You can see here is that I'm still looking for the section tag. Missed it the first time. Well, there it is. So everything below can be removed. A closing div for the uh, content container, a closing body, and HTML closes everything up. Then we go to the top. We look for the content container, that's this part. All lines above this div can be removed, only the HTML, the meta and the body tag must remain on top. I see in the recording I missed the head tag. But that, that one can be removed, of course. So now everything is gone and I uh, reinsert a style block and I uh, make the body start, the body tag. In the folder generated with the save as web a folder has been created with all references. A couple of those are the, uh, are the style sheets we are going to use. Well, first we save this file, of course, to get a proper result. So, there we go. We start with the designer default style sheet. Select all the text, close it, paste it before the last uh, slash style tag. Go to the app default style sheet. Select everything, close the file, paste it before the last, uh, the closing style tag. Go to the themes style sheet. So there are three st uh, style sheets from which the content is put between the style tags. Copy, close, and again paste before the, lo uh, the closing style tag. And after that, save, open, and you see you've got the proper HTML, uh, HTML file. There's all details.